The Unity Mall and Supermarket Initiative began as just an idea discussed among PNG Christian Professionals Network members and is now turning into reality. With the aim of promoting Papua New Guinean SMEs in the retail sector of the country's economy, about 200 SMEs are now operating at the mall with plans of expanding it to other parts of NCD and the rest of PNG. It is a platform created by the CPN platform, but it is owned and driven by members of the network and Papua New Guineans and the churches and Christians and farmers and SMEs get involved. The idea is to create a what you call customer-owned supermarkets. The Unity Mall currently comprises of an eatery section, a private clinic, clothing shops and more. The supermarket is still in the pipeline. The two-week fair event has attracted a wide customer base, including expatriates residing in Port Moresby. So when we moved into this place late last year, early February this year, uh, it was when people were running for cover. You know, COVID is out there and things like that. So, But uh, because of the network we have and the collectively people coming together and uniting, that's why we call it the Unity Mall. Because our idea is to unite the small people together. If we can work together in, in unity, we can produce any results. And as a result of it, you can see what's here. A long-time strong advocate for SMEs in PNG and Yanguru Sausia MP Richard Maru is supportive of the Unity Mall and Supermarket Initiative and took a tour of the stalls at the fair today. Captain and the chairman and everyone involved in the concept of the Unity Mall, this is a private sector driven initiative and I'm extremely proud as a leader of the country that our own, pe our own people, our Christian leaders have, have seen the vision. And they're inspired by that and they want to get in and contribute. The SME sector contributes to 10% of Papua New Guinea's gross domestic product. And initiatives such as this Unity Mall in Port Moresby is aimed at contributing towards this statistic. Our country has 50,000 registered SMEs in Papua New Guinea. New Zealand has over 500,000. Our country of 5.5 million people. 40% of the exports of countries like Malaysia is done by SMEs. All the manufacturing industries are all done by small SMEs. They contribute to 40% of GDP. In this country, SMEs only contribute to 10% of GDP. It's a huge area that can be harnessed and developed. The fair event is organized in partnership with NCDC providing opportunities for entrepreneurs like these mothers who share their experiences selling their products. My name is Elizabeth. I work with NCDC, currently a bus service supervisor. I don't have a stall, but my friend have a stall, and I assist her with the selling, and we've been doing that in the last uh, September and December, where NCDC normally provide, uh, pro provide and promote avenues for uh, women to come and sell. This is a Van Tellerin, Van Tellerin. Uh, I saw Mary blouses with pocket, Mary dress with pocket and button shirts for ladies and men. And also I sell Bilum, local Bilum. So I'm so happy to come to a place like that uh, and sell. And at, at least I'm making the money uh, one day, like four, five hundred kina a day. Denis Orere, National MTV News.